It has been an emotional roller coaster for Patricia Flowers and her family, as what appears to have been arson at their home in the Gungulung area is deja vu. On Saturday evening, a fire broke out at their home. While the structure may seem intact, the flames gutted everything inside the house. I can't even explain and say what happened, why it happened, but at the end of the day, again, I never did home. And like before the first fire, I never did home when they said, oh, they burned down their own house. So I don't know where they were saying now. I was out here by my mom. We were prepared for my daughter, boyfriend's birthday. When a neighbor, even the second neighbor, the third neighbor, all the way, run, come and get the phone and call my daughter. And she ran out the scream and she the same at the house, but either like, what about the house? It says Shania said the house is on fire. So right away we start scared about America. We need a vehicle right now. And we said, and one of the young ladies who came for the party at the same time, she tell me, come and we carry on. We overtake everything to mahogany. Every. We need to stop for police. And I just go and say, God, no make this be true. This can't be one night, may I never want replay. But replay it was. The flames could have been seen from a distance as the family neared the corner. Reach Gungulung, all I see that red smoking at the sky, and I still no one believe it. But when I reach there, that my house again. Why? God knows. How? God knows. Still wait for the fire people and police to tell because they no work weekend, so I guess that today. Back on July 7th, 2017, Flowers and her family were victims of a similar fire. Evidence suggested that the fire was deliberately set. No one was charged for that incident. Dwayne, when I reached there, people they holla, why are they start? But I don't know if you're gone there, the but no one no, wire burned. So if it was a wire, the whole neighborhood never made a current. Carla, we hook up my lamppost. You understand me? We now have my bathroom no burn. My two guests tank there in there. The gas tank no blow. Explode. The fire start from back of the house, according to a young man. I don't even know him. We run the neighborhood, they ask for a bucket. You could imagine in our neighborhood, nobody have a bucket. They lend somebody where want to help somebody where they know not the home. Nobody have a bucket, no one map bucket, no one broom, no one, uh, wah, wah. whatever we use to call bucket. The man said, Miss, at least I could have miss help, do something, but nobody give me a bucket. He said, and it's still running in my yard, but you don't find nothing for such your water till long after somebody may offer to give him a hose or something, a weapon where I plug it, whatever. But by then, he jumped back in a vehicle and he said, if he did call the fire engine, he called 911, and he get in a vehicle and drive out and meet the fire pump and bring it to weapon my house there. He said, at this time when he reached back, the blaze said, hi. What's sir? Then he said, we burn our own house. Fire engine, find the gas bottle in the sofa, squinch the way part of the choice, half of the whole stop where they climb. We did a gungo long this in a June for make five years. The first time we moved back there, two weeks away, we left from there, we find the alarm gone off. We prepare the house, alarm gone off. The neighbor call. We reach there, we find one tennis in the mud, then they try coming through the bathroom. Two weeks away from this fire, somebody stone our house. The, if, if, the, if the bathroom back still there, it have a dent wherever, whatever object they stone, broke it in our V. We cover it and bed in our bathroom, right? So, you understand? My whole bathroom cave in drop down. We still be now, we still, we not try to pick nothing, we not try to point finger. But this are too much. And this are because one of my neighbor passed, and the day before I come to school, I think, fire me the front of my yard, and they out it. Because it's, well, fire me starting your yard, and you know, they, who, who could do that? Then the next day, the house burned down. Flower says it will be difficult to recover from this, and the entire family is now living with her mother. She asks for assistance. Nothing in the house good, except two guests and going at the bathroom when I burn. And the fire start on the house, from a wall, we just picture frame, then nothing else today. 
So how the fire start? Where you come from? Not even bottom of the house bone. All I could say, Mr. Dwayne, if the ministers they want to come out and help me, they can. I I they beg them for come out, you know. And I I don't know a really begging person, but this time we have to beg. The first time nobody come out and help me because people show the words we burn down the one house. Do you believe somebody will burn down the house two times in our row in a in a years when you try to fix back your life? Anyone willing to assist can reach Patricia Flowers at 671-9290 or 673-7913. Dwayne Moody for News 5.